The mentalist Nupraptor was renowned through Nosgos for his tricks of the mind, telepathy, and telekinesis. Pilgrims traveled from all across the land seeking the comfort of his lies. I sought not his wisdom, but his life. upon my sanctuary. Can I not mourn in peace? Leave, leave and let my solitude be complete. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
I came upon one of Nupraptor's serving girls, catatonic with fear, choking out half words through bloodied, broken teeth. Although tempted by hunger, I stayed my hand, allowing her to tell her story. She spoke of her lord, Nupraptor, driven to insanity by the brutal slaying of his beloved Ariel. She spoke of his self-mutilation, sewing his eyes and lips shut to deny the outside world. Fueled by despair and hopelessness, he turned his magic on the circle, infecting their minds with his madness. Nupraptor cared for nothing now, save his pathetic self-pity. Scars such as hers would never heal. Death would only be a mercy. <laughs> Cretin squandered life and left it seeping on the floor. Such waste was a travesty. Perhaps Nupraptor needed to be taught a lesson as to the value of blood.
the energy bank permits me access to mass amounts of magical energy for a brief period of time. However, when the moment passes, I will be drained of all magic, unable to cast even the simplest of spells. From the depths of the retreat's eye sockets, I viewed Nosgoth in a different fashion. The glass seemed to warp the image and taint the color, <laughs> as if Nosgoth needed assistance in making its corruption apparent.
have you come to fail the circle once more? Leave, Paladin. I do not need your protection. Come, Cain. Come, share my pain. <laughs> So, this was the mentalist Nupraptor, this broken, pathetic little man. Yet crippled as he was, he would not yield without battle. Very well, old fool. If it is death you seek, I will not deny you. Her beloved will convince Ariel that I have accomplished my task. The mace is amongst my most useful of weapons, for it merely stuns my victims, allowing me ample time to feed. Iron Sword Forged by the Serioli, the legendary weapon masters of Nosgoth, this blade will serve me well in life and beyond. Iron Armor As it was born from Hellfire, forged by the necromancer's magic, my armor resists fire and provides me with strong defense. Spiked Mace I placed Nupraptor's head before the Pillar of the Mind and watched on as it dissolved into the stone. The Pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. Nupraptor was but the genesis. Forever tainted by his madness, the circle was beyond redemption. For them, absolution lay only in death. In me, they would find their deliverance. 
But first I had to defeat their shepherd. Malek, defender of the Nine, lay in a keep to the far north, past Vasabunt. It was time for me to test the wrath of the Pillar of Conflict. Death in the circle breathes life to the pillars. For every pillar there is a token. Only with these shall they be restored. But to reach a warrior, you must first breach his ward. Find Malak and destroy him. Only then will the circle fall.
sword. Spiked mace. The town of Stenshin Crow bore with it the infamous aroma of its inhabitants. In life, I would not have graced the place with my presence. In death, I merely added to the stench. Ah! 
The blood of ages flows so sweet. Come, drink from us. Your magic energy recovers more quickly, for our blood enhances. Years ago, word reached us of a strange pestilence that had laid siege to a few remote villages far east, but the rumors failed to prepare us for the horror that was the plague. 
Worms and maggots fed upon his festering skin. The scent of tainted blood seeped through the wounds upon which they feasted. Pity. Such a waste. Good blood gone bad. Corhagen, my home, the finest city in all of Nosgoth, rich in vanity and conceit. I had no delusions as to the welcome I would receive. Death and disease stalked these streets. Bodies lay most in the very spots in which fate had taken them. A perfect homecoming. Iron Sword Yeah. <laughs> 
This spell cloaks me under a protective aegis. Whatever spell is cast at me will be reflected back at the caster, leaving me unharmed. It will only last for a short time, however, before leaving me vulnerable once more. Thank <laughs> you. 
to challenge me.
cleanses my body of any dangerous poisons. Quite useful with all the filth I find myself surrounded by. Spiked mace. Iron Sword Evisceration. Let fate choose my enemy's demise. <laughs> <laughs>
Malik's bastion, perched defiantly on the mountain top, black as night against the blanket of snow. What manner of man would choose a land so harsh and utterly devoid of life? I know you are here, demon. The stench of death clings to you. The interior was as cold and sterile as the snow outside, with empty suits of armor and sharp, cruel steel lining the walls. My warriors are but shadows of my skill, child. metal structure gave birth to these wraiths. I could hazard only a guess at its function, fusing the souls of long-dead warriors to their armor so that they may do battle once again. Life without blood? What a travesty. Do you hope to best me, Cain? Do not worry. Your challenge will not go unmet. Thank <laughs> you. 
Your undeath does not make you immortal, vampire. Come to slay the Slayer of Vampires, have you? My eyes yearned from lack of contrast. My mouth ached for want of blood. In this cold wasteland, food was scarce, and my hunger grew. <laughs> The 
The guards at the gate offered no resistance. They were frozen solid, and dead as they stood, their flesh welded to the cold metal of their armour. A corpse held court on a tattered throne, grinning malignantly at me through blackened teeth. It is not often that a man sees his own corpse. It is a sobering experience. 
But I am far less interested in my own corpse than I am in yours. Prepare yourself, vampire!